All right, here's a garden update. I just soaked myself down with mosquito repellent. I'm gonna give this a try. Some of my plants didn't make it. I think I added too much fertilizer, but some of them seem to be okay with the fertilizer, so I added some new plants. Two new plants. This one is a habanero plant right here and there's no fruit yet on it there's some flowers this one here was a Carolina Reaper that I had in, in my uh, hydroponics that was having some leaf spotting which uh, I figured found out through Kang's store that it was a pH imbalance because when I moved them out here all the leaf spot issues went away but I had trimmed this one way back it was it was huge and then a, about a month or two ago I uh, trimmed it way back and it's all new growth here but it's a Carolina Reaper and there's a duplicate of it in my room which is huge and, and it's uh, producing peppers okay but I ain't been out here for a while because there's all these mosquitoes but this plant is some kind of scorpion plant you can see there's some peppers growing on it. This is really the first time I've been out here for any amount of time because of all the mosquitoes out here. But uh, it's probably my best plant here. All kinds of flowers, all kinds of fruit. For a while I was using Dea Tenacious Earth and uh, because of the slugs, but they seem to be slowing down so uh, it's got peppers all over it I don't know if you can see them but uh yeah they're all over this these mosquitoes are still trying to get all over me but uh so I'm gonna have to make this a quick update these mosquitoes they don't care out here they're out in the middle of the day I think they like this area all these uh this is a ghost pepper here and for a while it wasn't doing nothing i see one fruit i guess developing right there so we'll soon see if it's a ghost pepper plant um like i said i haven't been using any type of insecticides on it i uh brought my uh hydroponic plant inside the reaper to a 7.5 gallon uh, container so I just when I flush out the flora series I uh, I just dump it into these onto these plants I give them each about a gallon of a hydroponic nutrients micro series I also add flourishes plus and a and a flora blend and uh there's one more but it's the ones that are suggested on the flora series this one here is a um some kind of scorpion pepper that wasn't doing very good so so there's a couple times i was gonna do away with it then it seemed to start growing here so and here's some other kind of scorpion pepper plant it's got plenty of flowers but I don't I don't know if there's any fruits developing I'm gonna take a look here I think I see something there are those flat flower buds let me see sorry if uh, I'm a little shaky on the on the wheel here Let me see if I see any peppers growing on here. Not right yet. There's plenty of flowers. But, uh, they all seem to be doing good. Like I said, that's the nutrients I use. I just dump the used floor blend. And here's another habanero plant. I got these. They were bonnie plants. And I just, uh, had the open space so 
I stuck them in here and uh, they seem to be doing okay so hopefully if everything goes right I'll be able to make a couple batches of super hot sauce you know but uh that's uh what's going on with the garden when I say it's been a while because these mosquitoes and everything else but this one is huge you know this one is basically when I screwed up and gave too much fertilizer or pH the, the soil wrong all the other plants the ones that were over here there's about six reapers that died and uh, this one here lost all of its uh, leaves and it came back um, and uh, the other, all the other ones died except for this one just kept rolling he didn't really didn't care so I'll probably try to clone him well, there's some peppers down here let's see here some new peppers there I'm finding them everywhere on this plant I don't really know what it is let me show you some peppers and maybe if you all know exactly what this plant is you can tell me but it's supposed to be some kind of scorpion pepper but I'm getting swarmed by mosquitoes right now they ain't biting me I uh, I'm using some Avon skin so soft that I bought on Amazon but uh yeah I'm happy with it it's pretty low maintenance here it's uh it rains almost every few days so so I really haven't I had water maybe four times in the last two or three months you know so I'm gonna show you the, the pepper inside the one that's left and there's Max saying hi what are you doing Max what are you doing there All right. okay here's the plant inside of the Reaper if I get some uh, here's a, some peppers on there let's see here a couple here all right so this had some uh, brown root issues and I started using HydroGuard let me see if I can get this to focus in some HydroGuard and uh, as for the brown leaf brown spot issues I'm thinking some kind of pH balance because as soon as I transferred the other ones that had the same leaf spots to the garden the leaf spots went away so there's probably no uh, bacteria leaf spot it's just some uh, nutrients imbalance but uh, there's plenty of peppers growing on this plant let me see if I can get a picture on the other side there I don't know if you can see them real well I'm sure within my next update you'll probably be able to see them better but uh one near I'm gonna see if I can uh, adjust it so I can get uh, a picture of the roots I'll give you a vague picture of the roots like this So there's still some brown spots hold on a second I'm gonna get my pot okay I got out the tripod now we're gonna try showing you the roots here so I don't know if y'all can see that let me aim it down a little further towards the root section
but those are pretty good white roots. Like I said, I used some hydro guard and uh, I upgraded this to a 7.5 gallon container. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I had some, uh, but the plant's pretty big. It's uh, it's about two and a half feet wide by. 18 inches tall got a couple fans going and uh, four ear stones and I had about six gallons of water and like I said I take that nutrients after a week and then use it for the plants outside and that's the update hit like if you like the video and thanks for watching